Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And today I'll talk about how to use Search Console if you work for a non-profit organization. Search Console is a free tool from Google that helps you understand how you're performing on Google Search and what you can do to improve your appearance on Search to bring more relevant traffic to your website. You probably have limited time to dive in, so one step at a time. Here's how to get started. Make sure Google can find and read your pages. Monitor your site's performance to find new opportunities on Google Search. And learn about optimizing your site for search. I'll try to explain each of those as simply as possible. So stay with me. If you've never used Search Console, you'll first need to verify ownership of your site. There are several ways to do this, so don't worry. Check out my previous video to find out more about verification methods and best practices. It will help you choose the one that's right for you. Google is constantly crawling the web to discover new and updated pages and compile a massive index of all the words it sees and their location on each page. When a user enters a query, Google machines search the index for matching pages and return the results we believe are the most relevant to the user. The Search Console Index Coverage Report will give you an overview of all the pages Google indexed or tried to index in your site. Log into Search Console and find the report in the sidebar. The default view shows a summary of errors on your site. Click the tabs to show valid with warnings, valid, and excluded pages too. Here's what each status means. Errors prevent pages from being indexed. An error means the page won't appear in Google, which can mean a loss of traffic to your website. Ideally, you should fix most of the errors on your site to improve your coverage in search. Valid with warnings are pages that may or may not be shown on Google, depending on the issue but we think there is a problem that you should look into. Valid pages have been indexed and can be shown on Google Search. So good job. Excluded pages were not indexed and won't appear in Google, but we think that is your intention. An example might be a donation details form that shouldn't appear in search results. Clicking a row in the table will lead you to a more detailed view showing examples of pages with that issue and more information on the error or warning. Here, you can also grab a link using the share button to share the details with a developer that can help you fix your site. After you or your developer have fixed the issue, click validate fix and Google will validate your changes. You can watch my previous video on the index coverage report to understand more about the issues affecting your site and learn how to validate a fix you have implemented. Another very useful report is the search performance report. This report shows how much traffic you're getting from Google Search, including breakdowns by queries, pages, and countries. For each of those breakdowns, you can see trends for impressions, clicks, and other metrics. Here are three things to look for when reviewing your performance data. If the number of impressions is significantly higher than clicks for a query or a page, you might need to create better page titles and descriptions to make your site more attractive to users in search results. If search queries that you expect to see don't appear, your site might not have enough useful content relevant to those queries. Check how many queries show your site when the user does or does not include your nonprofit's name. This might show interesting areas where people are searching for content directly related to your site. Those are just a few examples of what information you can learn from the default reports. Check out my previous video on the performance report for a more comprehensive overview of how to use the report to analyze your Google search performance. Search engine optimization, or SEO, is the process of increasing the visibility of website pages on search engines in order to attract more relevant traffic. It can involve changes to both the content and the structure of your pages. 
Here are some examples of SEO best practices. You might need a developer to help you implement those. Create high-quality content that is factually accurate, clearly written, and comprehensive. Write unique page titles and description meta tags for each of your pages. These are HTML elements that tell users and search engines what the topic of a particular page is. Use headings to emphasize important text in your pages. And make your website mobile-friendly. Most people are searching on Google using a mobile device. To learn more about the suggestions above and others, check the SEO starter guide linked in the description. It's long, but will be worth your while. That was a short introduction. Hopefully, you found some new ways to improve your search appearance on Google Search. Make sure to check our YouTube channel, where you'll find many videos on Search Console and Search in general. Stay tuned.